get the three nodes of electrical circuit. Check the link in the comment section and install the app for free. Mesh analysis. Question. Find the current through 30 ohm resistor. In this circuit, we have to find this current that is the current through 30 ohm resistor by using mesh analysis. Solution. Let's say this is mesh number 1 with current I1 and it is in clockwise direction. Let's say this is mesh number 1 and also this is mesh number 2, same direction that is clockwise direction. Now according to the direction of this current I1, this will be positive, negative, positive here, negative here, positive here, negative here, positive and negative. Now let's apply KVL to mesh number 1. Apply KVL to mesh 1. So let's say we are starting from this point. So it will be minus 20, then plus 20 I1, plus 20 I1, then plus 30, plus 30 I1 minus I2, I1 minus I2. Here the loop is completed, so is equal to 0. Then next, simplify this, so it will be, we take this 20 on right side, so it will be plus 20, and this will be 20 I1 here, then plus 30 I1 minus 30 I2 is equal to 20. Now here this 20 plus 30 will be 50 I1, 50 I1, then minus 30 I2 is equal to 20. Let's say this is equation number 1. Now let's apply KVL to mesh number 2. Apply KVL to mesh 2. Now let's say we are starting from this point. So it will be plus 30. We are solving for I2 and this 30 ohm is common in I2 and I1 that is it is common in mesh 2 and mesh 1 and we are solving for mesh number 2. So it will be 30, it will be I2 in bracket I2 minus I1 minus I1 then this will be plus 10 plus 10 I2 plus 10 I2 then plus 10 is equal to 0. Here the loop is completed, so it is equal to 0. Now let's simplify this, so it will be 30 I2, 30 I2 minus 30 I1, then plus 10 I2 is equal to, if we take this 10 on right side, so it will be minus 10. Now this will be, first we will write I1 terms, so it will be minus 30 I1, then 30 plus 10 is 40 plus 40 I2 is equal to minus 10. Now let's say this is equation number 2. So solving equation 1 and 2 we get we solve equation 1 and equation 2 we get the value of I1 and I2. This I1 and this I2. So let's solve this in calculator directly. So mode 5 and 1. So it will be 50. Then minus 30. Then 20. And from equation number 2, this will be minus 30. 40. And this is minus 10. So it is I1 is equal to I1 is equal to 0 0.45. I1 is equal to 0 0.45. Since it is current, so its unit will be ampere. And I2 is equal to 0 0.09. 0 0.09 ampere. But we have to find the current through this 30 ohm. Now here we can see this I1 is in clockwise direction and this I2 is also in clockwise direction. Now we will see 
which one is greater i1 or i2 now here we can see i1 is greater than i2 here we can write i1 is greater than i2 so the direction leading direction will be of i1 that is this direction downward that means the current through this 30 ohm will be like this in this direction so it will be i1 and the direction of i1 and i2 both are opposite that is this i1 is downward and here this i2 is upward for this 30 ohm so it will be here we can write i 30 ohm is equal to i1 minus i2 i1 value is 0 0.45 minus i2 value is 0 0.09 we are taking i1 here because i1 is greater than i2 and we are subtracting because the direction of i1 is downward and the direction of i2 is upward that is both the direction are opposite so that's why we are subtracting so let's solve this so it will be 0 0.45 minus 0 0.09 so it is 0 0.0.36 ampere is the value of i30 ohm 0.36 ampere so this is how we can find the value of current by using mesh analysis get the free notes of electrical circuits check the link in the comment section and install the app for free thanks for watching